energy, power, electricity. They all refer to the same thing, a vital input for providing light, warmth, comfort and security in our homes. Beyond that, it is the primary foodstuff for industry and diverse business operations. Indeed, every enterprise in society needs a steady and reliable supply of this important resource to perform at maximum efficiency. Over time, policymakers have grappled with the damaging effect of gross energy shortfalls in Nigeria. To arrest the situation, the Jonathan administration embarked on a fast track of existing efforts to build new power projects around the country. The federal government contracted a consortium of two internationally acclaimed engineering firms, General Electric and Roxin Engineering, to undertake the engineering, procurement and construction of the Kaduna Power Project. Siwa Limited was appointed as the consultancy firm to manage and deliver this very important project to specification. Kaduna is a kind of a business hub of the, of the north. And that's why we'll have a lot of industries stationed there. And uh, if you notice, for many years the industries are not working, especially the textile industry. They are not working because of uh, lack of power. Kaduna is strategically located at the upper middle of the country, just a little bit above Abuja. So it is a center point from where the power generated can be transmitted to other parts of Nigeria, especially in the north. The ongoing Kaduna power plant in Kudenda, Kaduna State, falls under the laudable energetic socio-economic program of President Goodluck Jonathan's extensive developmental strategy known as the Transformation Agenda. It is this administration of President Jonathan that has started bringing us out of the wood, even though the design to do that came with the onset of the new democratically elected government in 1999, but the impetus and the flesh that needed to be added to the bone to make the bone now rise up and walk as living being happened with President Jonathan. He's brought us from 2,500 megawatts to now over 4,000 megawatts. This is an inherent part you know, of the President's roadmap for improved power quality to Nigeria and power volume. And this is particularly special. I know ultimately when the Mambela comes up also, that is another major power plant in the north as well as the Zungeru power plant also in the north. They all work together, you know, to improve system stability and also ensuring additional power in the north, which to me will keep people busy because when the industries are busy, then the people should not have time, you know, to be making trouble. We want to also thank Mr. President for keeping to his promise in realizing all these projects that in the transformation agenda we promised Nigerians that we will create economic corridors and transform the economic status of all Nigerians. When completed, the Kaduna power plant will bring succor to the ailing and long neglected Kudenda industrial area which once provided employment and a sense of achievement to the teeming population of the town. When we heard about Kaduna Power Plant, we know that it will help our business so much because the advantage, number one, we are close to it. And even now, we are enjoying light because almost 75% more than before. Making power supply to be available will help us to reduce cost 
in buying of generator and then the high cost of printing i'm sure would never the price will be a bit step down Kaduna power plant is our power plant it's been put up by the federal government of nigeria to address the paucity of power supply to the entire area and the region that is a power plant that the federal government really is very proud to be putting up at a time like this it is common knowledge that power has been neither regular nor reliable in Nigeria in the last 35 years. Inadequate energy translated easily to higher costs of production in industry and dwindling profit margins around the country led to massive closures of factories and widespread job losses, especially in Kaduna, capital of the old northern region and major industrial center in Nigeria. Kaduna is a major industrial hub. We have a lot of textile industries. We have car assembly and manufacturing industries, food processing industries, in Kaduna and around Kaduna. Almost all these industries have had to generate their own sources of power. So reviving these industries and bringing down the cost of production some, in some cases by as much as 30 to 40 percent was critical to have a reliable, stable and sustained source of power. The construction of the Kaduna power plant to further inject 215 megawatts into the national grid was conceived as a dual-fired eight-turbine power station using both low-power fuel oil and liquefied natural gas. The gas infrastructure master plan for Nigeria includes Kaduna. But before it gets there, and the amount of money that will be expended to make sure that that is done is still not within reach. So in order to obviate that and make sure that Kaduna power plant comes on stream, we are going to be using LPFO. We have eight plants of G three and five, you know, models, and each plant is about 20 to 25 megawatts, and a total of 250 megawatts, you know, to be generated from here. On commission, the plant would start operations with diesel fuel pending the completion of the gas infrastructure. This would provide the much-needed energy to satisfy industrial and domestic needs of the ever-growing Kaduna industrial area and the entire metropolis. The main aim is to boost power generation to Nigeria. And so we will get additional 215 megawatt from the Kaduna power plant when it is completed. And the stability of the grid will be further enhanced because the generation is in the north and so the transmission lines will be shorter to the consumers. The industrial area around Kaduna South, these uh, textile industries, will be in better position to get constant supply and quality supply with good voltage level. That's one, one of the big advantage that uh, power station will give to Kaduna. If we have to really drive the economy in the way that we want, then it means that we must generate more power, more power must be made available. Because power is, is at the fulcrum, is it's at the very center on which every other activity, social activity, economic activity, all dwell around power. On 26 June 2010, the new site at Kudenda was handed over to the Consortium of General Electric and Roxin Engineering. Seven months had gone by, lost from the scheduled work period. When we came here, it was just an open field. The challenge then was how to demarcate it and work in a confined area. For us to bring this equipment, we have to prepare that area, the lay down area, which was not valuable. And we were doing it at the same time, trying to put up the foundations of the gas turbines.
after the consortium of General Electric and Roxin Engineering had moved to site, the major engineering process began with a phased procurement of two turbine generators and complementary equipment for their installation. These arrived on time at the port in Onne River State, but the poor roads and bridges to Kaduna proved a major hurdle. Therefore, it was necessary to first reinforce and rebuild the roads and bridges wherever necessary, so they could bear the trucks and turbines. It took a while to achieve this. The most significant challenge was actually the delivery of heavy lift items from Onne Port to Kaduna. Uh, because of the condition of the road that deteriorated between the award and the delivery of the units. The turbines arrived at the project site two years behind schedule. The federal government stepped in immediately and actually rehabilitated the road and all the um, eight number gas turbines and the generators have been successfully delivered to site. And currently they are on the plinth, alignment completed and the project is on course. Initially, the Kaduna power plant was slated to tie in to an existing 132 kV substation in Kachia Road in Kaduna Metropolis. However, consideration for the future gas supply pipeline prompted the relocation of the project from Kachia Road to a greenfield site at Kudenda Industrial Layout. The old power station at Kachia Kakuri was considered because we have old tanks there and things to rehabilitate. But then the government had realized that there's a gas line that is to pass through here. So instead of having that pass through here, they say relocate it here from a brownfield to a greenfield. Brownfield is not an old plant, greenfield is from vegetation. So that was why it was cited here. I had the privilege of being one of those people who looked at it in the conceptual stage, you know, and I was Please to know that it was moved away from the original site to a more sustainable site in terms of proximity to industry as well as the future gas pipeline that will be laid, you know, from Abuja all the way to Kano. The relocation from Kachia Road substation to Pudenda Industrial Area generated an increase in the scope of works. Unlike the Kachia Road substation, the new site at Kudenda was not on the national grid, so facilities for connecting to the national grid had to be provided. There were no liquid fuel tanks on site for storing the essential raw material, so they had to be constructed. Inevitably, the change in site location and the attendant challenges that came with it, including the additional logistic required to overcome these challenges necessitated the revaluation of total construction costs. Other areas of major changes in the scope of work resulting from change of site locations are civil works, land preparation and infrastructure, including new switch yards from the evacuation of power to Mando through two line bays. In the substation, we are expecting two outgoing feeders to Mando Road, where you have the PCN 330 stroke 132 kV substation. At the substation also, we have two by 60 MVA transformers that will step down power from 132 to 33 so that we can feed Kaduna Metropolis. Altogether, we have four lines that we emanate from here, two from Gurara, two to Mando. During the rainy seasons also, work slowed down considerably at the site because of the muddy terrain of the area. Political tension in the host communities proved threatening to the security of life and property. The unhealthy situation compelled the contractor to vacate the site for several weeks at a time. The 
the Ministry of Transport has assured that the sideline from the Port Harcourt Kaduna Rail Line to the plant would be completed in time for transporting the appropriate grade of fuel from the Port Harcourt refinery to the plant, which requires an average of 24 trucks of low pour fuel oil every day to keep it running. The Kaduna power plant is also taking advantage of the 30 megawatts of electricity generated from the Gurara Dam. The Kaduna power plant has 2 by 60 MVS substation that is almost completed. This substation will receive the 30 megawatts from Gurara Hydro Power Plant. The Substation has already attained 85% completion. On 24 February 2011, therefore, the Federal Ministry of Power contracted Mercer's Keeper Electricals Limited to design, manufacture, install, and commission a substation for connection of Gorara Hydropower Project to the Kaduna Industrial Area. This job order requires the upgrade of the electrical systems and power evacuation such that the control and protection systems of both the substation and plant would be harmonized. You have a transmission line from Guerrero to this place. They are building, building towers and the rest of it. So if they come in and we're able to get this one done, even before then we will send power to Kaduna. Many of the unemployed inhabitants of Kaduna are eagerly expecting the power plants to come into operation soon. If the light can be improved, it's going to affect our uh, business in a much improved way. And it will increase the efficiency of labor and production will be facilitated. The state will be developed as well. We appeal to the federal government to help us you know, extend the power line from that a new constructed Kudenda power line. This is our village, so that it can help us improve the power. The president is in a hurry to see that uh, the, the, the power sector has to be transformed. Because for us in the ministry, our belief is uh, all the transformation of Mr. President is a hinge on the power sector. Because once you transform the power sector, virtually the others will follow. The vice president uh, went there. I was also there, the Minister of uh, Water Resources, the Permanent Secretary of Minister of Power was all there, and uh, we looked at the level of work being done, and we are confident we should be able to test fire one or two turbines there. The Kaduna Power Plant has attained 92% completion level. With the substation at 85 percent. Once the two projects are completed, the power will be evacuated at 33 kV switcher to Kaduna Industrial Cluster, which will impact the textile industries and other industries directly with, uh, with 80 megawatts. The balance of the 120 megawatt will be fed to the national grid. As the Kaduna Park project is being completed, then we now have a source close to the point of use, which means more power can be delivered. And since more power can be delivered, then more people will get it, industries will get it, and then instead of running their own individual generators, then they can run from the grid. And we all know that power from the grid is relatively cheaper you know, than each person having to run his own power plant. So that's essentially the major benefit, to correct a present default in the network as a result of inability to be able to deliver all the power that is needed. The federal government is pressing on, regardless of all the challenges the project has faced and the transformation agenda as it concerns the energy sector, will birth in Kaduna in 2015. Actually, we appreciate the patience of Nigerians. And above all, Nigerians have so much confidence that since President Gula Jonathan has said it, he will do it. And it will take us to that Eldorado of having power 
all the time and be like other countries where power is taken for granted. We'll get there. We can see that there is hope. That hope is here. That hope is realizable. It's not just a, it's not a mirage. It's not just a dream that people just wish and think it will happen. It is something that technically, mechanistically, physically, we've put the structures in place to give Nigerians power. And this government is doggedly determined to do that, and we are going to do that. It is envisaged, therefore, that the Kaduna power plant shall light up the entrepreneurial spirits of captains of industry and small-scale businessmen and women. Their combined efforts will signal a new day for industrial growth and massive employment opportunities in and around the city of Kaduna.